Those modifier. It's an easy um, full body to uh, um, carry or, or an element, I guess, if you want to call it. So if you remember under uh, uh, standard primitives, there's uh, extended primitives, and in there there's a hose modifier. And what I'm going to do is just use that as a reference. So I'm going to, in the front viewport here, I'm going to create um, just the hose. I'm going to make it unique shape. I'm going to make it a, a, a D section this time. And we're just going to rotate it with angle snap so it's it's pointing down. So it's going to be a weird object here. And uh, just bring a little bit of height in into that. And uh, let's zoom out. And, and last week, for those that don't remember, uh, that weren't here, I, I showed a, um, a number of different technologies. I'm going to make this a, a green inchworm. And uh, I showed a, a segmented inchworm, but today we're going to actually do a full skin inchworm using uh, some neat techniques. And I can make an inchworm with a lot of different cycles. Okay, I can make it. Um, 10 cycles and different percentage and diameters. The hose modifier is a parametric object and I did my thesis on that by the way uh, uh, when I went to school. Um, that's what I, these parametric objects that we do. So, um, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you is, a, is this hose modifier. And now I've got my geometry done. Now I could do that manually, okay, and make an inchworm pretty, pretty quick. But um, I'm going to collapse this now to an edible poly and call this an inchworm. Whoop, sec here. If I can here. Edible mesh. There we go. And edible poly. I want edible mesh, then edible poly. I didn't like edible poly for some. So I'm going to call it the inchworm. One reason I call it inchworm, we used to do we used to develop a product here called an inchworm forest harvester. It was all done in 3D. So what I'm going to do is in the front here is I'm going to bevel. Um, just to kind of make so you know which way is the front. I'm just going to bevel the end here um, and just make it bigger here so you know what's, um, what's front. So that's the inchworm head, if you want to call it. And then I'm going to screw it out a bit. And so I beveled and just creating some type of head. And typically, what you'll do to do a really quick. Um, um, Organic, you'll add Turbo Smooth, okay, and then it becomes an inchworm. It's that easy, okay, and you can give it a head or whatever you want. And Turbo Smooth just gives it that smoothness that you want for an inchworm. So that's part A of the assignment. Create some type of inchworm. It doesn't matter to me what you do. The thing is, I can animate this with bones. You can't really animate it with biped because it's a snake-like type. Um, bones would be ideal, but your first year you're just getting started in rigging. Okay, so we're going to rig this so we completely control it. And I'm going to introduce a new topic. It might be for some of you. I don't know. It's called FFD. Look closely up at my, my modifier. I'm going to go down here and select FFD. But notice I'm going to do it above the edible poly. Okay, it's called FFD. And what do you see? called a cage okay and that cage um, has control points and a lattice see these the lattice here and the control points I can actually move this lattice look at this I give it complete control so even though this has a lot of vertices I can actually give this complete control and animate those so I can put auto key on and move the control objects Okay, and I can move the tail back and forth, okay, and cycle that. So watch what I get. And I'm going to get a complete controlled object with FFD. Okay, and it's, it's amazing what I, where I use this. I use it on hoses, I use it on antennas, I use it on uh, spec. Uh, 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 spec uh, spider mechs. I can use it on, you name it, I use this on. Um, I use it for morphing characters. Anyways, it's a, it's a basic foundation for uh, 3D is using this FFD. Um, it's called freeform deformation. Very powerful. You can use different types. I can go in here and I use 
um, an FFD 3x3x3, three by three by three, which I use for a mouth, a mouth uh, animation. Because what I'll do is I'll actually um, set these control points here and animate them. Watch, I'll go down, and it animates the middle side of it. See? So I'll make the inchworm going up and down. Now what's even more great about this is I can, if I hate the animation, I can go reset, and it's gone. Okay? Freeform allows you to actually animate a character or an object that's kind of uh, um, unique in shape. Um, blubber on a stomach, uh, you can actually do muscles, um, you can actually morph a complete face. You know, it does distort, so keep in mind you're not going to retain a lot of your, uh, your, uh, um, your mesh integrity because um, it is uh, kind of a morph type style. And with Turbo Smooth, that's what you get. And that's your, that's your uh, FFD. So I'll store that. I'll stop and uh, store that. 